guys, it's Becca from Weather with Stains and from Gardner's to Burgers blog. And I'm here with some hard maple. I just wanted to show you how to properly stain when working with maple. So I have my control right here so that you can see uh, what we started with. And then I've got my piece I'm gonna stain right here. First, I went ahead and I opened up the wood, which means I used a heavy grit sandpaper and I sanded in the direction of the grain. When people say in the direction of the grain, they mean the, uh, the lengthwise. So the grain's moving in these stripes this way, so this is the direction I sanded. If you sand this way, you'll leave a whole bunch of scratches. So I sanded this way and now I'm just gonna take the cheapest brush in America, the sponge brush, and my Weatherwood Stain Reclamation. Reclamation is a gorgeous color on hard maple. You can see that it's a reactive stain, and so the wood is actually gonna react to the stain itself versus the stain having pigments, dyes, colorants that are both can be harmful as well as um, cover up the grain. So you can see how it's working. Um, now we'll do this little bit at the bottom, but I wanted to show you how it was already changing right in front of your eyes. And then you'll see, even though I did this bit uh, about 10 seconds later, it's gonna blend right in really beautifully. Okay, so that's how easy it was to stain it. Uh, you could use a different kind of brush, but you just want whatever brush that's going to carry a lot of moisture in it to really wet the wood surface. You can see how much um, how much moisture is on there. Uh, it's pretty wet. It's pretty wet, and it's going to dry. The wood's going to absorb it. It's going to do the work. Okay, I'm going to switch over to time lapse, and we'll watch these babies dry.